so how is Rory doing in the next season? Well, he's about to encounter a new uh, thing called Constantine. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was just saying that the, the dynamic between him and Rory and Constantine is, going, is just hysterical. It's wonderful, actually. Um, I've had the opportunity of reading huge scripts ahead of time. And the scenes are beautifully written and hysterical. Um, you know, Rory's, uh, as you were saying before, you know, Rory's very, now he's come to the, come to, obviously come to the conclusion that this is his family. Uh, these are people that he protects, even though he doesn't verbally articulate it, they all know that Mick has their back now. Um, yeah, so the, uh, the hostility, the animosity, whatever you like to call it, between Constantine is something that I want to keep going. How does he react to uh, magic this season? I don't know. I haven't been there yet. <laughs> <laughs> we just started. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. for, I mean, for Mick, it's, uh, it's kind of like another day at the office in a way yeah. because you're just like, all right, what are we doing now? You know, like you're, you're very much like, you kind of are resigned to the fact that, exactly. you know, things are just always going to be crazy. Exactly. It's like, again, after what happened last season with the Evo, you're like, okay, well, this is, this, we're up for this won't work for anything. So, yeah, for him it's very, pretty much like, okay, what do I need to go to? Where is it? Exactly. Yeah. You know? well, we have, Mick is firmly established, uh, I've been saying around the tables that we don't have to mess with Mick Raw right now, we know what he is, there's not a whole lot of tinkering we need to do with him. Essentially what you see with Mick is what you have, but there are parts of it that we haven't yet seen. And that will be drawn out over this year and next year, and I think that's the way you... Yeah, I think mean, it's, it's, it's mining those hidden gifts yeah. of Mick Rory, which are there, and we've hinted at them in the season's past, for sure, but I think now is the time with, again, him really having his home on the team now, yeah. given, like, he's our people, he, you know, he's had lots of awards, and, you know, um, that, you know, now is the time to really dive deep. What do you say? We've seen lots of different alternative versions of characters in the Arrowverse. Is there anything in particular you would like to see for uh, Rory? Alternative like, character? Yes, like from an alternative dimension. Like it's from another Earth? Yes, like, like we've seen character. Citizen Cold, for example. That was a whole different thing from... Uh, not interesting, not really. How <laughs> <laughs> about Killer Frost and Rory? Because he was really interested in her in the process. Killer Frost. I mean, you're talking about relationship now. Yeah. Well, um, I guess. I mean, I, I think I think Rory's up for any chick. You know, I mean, I mean that's him. I mean, he doesn't really care who it is. Sometimes when, uh, sometimes when the team is on like high alert, panic, they'll come to you and you'll be like reading a book or taking a yeah. nap or something like that. Is yeah. That um, ever... Sometimes yes, yeah, sometimes not. Uh, you know, it's a shared it's a shared dialogue. I mean, at, at this point, the the writers, the, the producers, they've seen. They've seen Mick in action. They know now how he responds to the situation. So, you know, half the time, like 99% of the time, it's like, yeah, that's exactly what Mick did. So, so this is, you know, the the, uh, the understanding is there. And I, I think one of the things I love about Mick is that he's made a few words as well. But when he does speak, it's always really interesting or really provocative. Or, you know, it's meaningful. And, that, and that's, that's the way we like to keep it. Uh, we found out about Rory running a logo in the last season. Yeah. Uh, do we know more about that or do we find any other logos that we have in the I can't hear you. I feel that you, your character need like a new best friend. A after, new best friend? Yeah, after Captain Cold. Um, it's gonna happen. So. Well, I think, you know, the, the relationship between, I, I think what's happened is the relationship between Wentworth, yes. the human, and myself, and Dominic, is very well documented over the years. And I think people find it hard to deal with that you know we're, we're actually separated yeah. you know and uh, it's like a 
it's like a painful divorce, if you will, you know, or, or a death in the family, it feels like everyone's saying, where's Wentworth, where's Wentworth? You know, of course I want Wentworth to come back, and then, as I say before, the door is just open to him, you know, Wentworth, okay. whenever he wants to come back, you know. Uh, but, um, yeah, but I think in terms of, like, finding a new body, because Mick does well when he has someone he does. anchoring him. He does, he does very well. Yeah, yes. I mean, I think we will... Finding those partnerships throughout the season, you know, for an I think it. I, 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 another, like, I think it needs to be a woman. I think it's. I mean, honestly, I mean, we, we talked about this already. Because it, it can't say, be. It can't be a dude. Yeah. We um, we have you know Amaya, not Amaya, you know, uh, Nathan is returning as this character Charlie, who is an escaped fugitive, and so you know, he's done some hard time. He's done some hard time. I mean, like with those two, I think, in what we've written so far and what we're what we're leaning this season, I think we're going to be really tight. Good. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.